When we talk about comfort zone, uh, we always imagine that there are two kinds of people. Some people are able to get together all their will and work hard and get out of their comfort zone and achieve great things. But some people are too lazy, too afraid and too weak to do that. Is it true? No. In reality, before you want to get out of your comfort zone, you need first to create it and then slowly make it broader and broader and broader. How do you create your comfort zone? First of all, you take care of your physical health. You sleep well, you eat well, you exercise and so on. Secondly, you take care of your emotional health. You get rid of your toxic relationships, people who put you down. You learn new skills that will help you deal with yourself better. First of all, these emotional intelligence skills, such as skill to understand and deal with your emotions, skill to analyze your thoughts and thinking patterns and change them, skill of communication and empathy, and then training your discipline. In creating emotional comfort zone, it is also important to address your inner conflict and any resistance that might be inside you. Often we imagine that we want something but in reality, not all of us want something. Maybe a part of us is afraid of it, or a part of us is really angry about it and resistant to it. Maybe this thing that we think we want doesn't really fit our value system. In order to feel peaceful and calm inside, you need to analyze all these inner conflicts. And if not resolve them, then at least know them well, so that you understand yourself and your own world doesn't seem dark and full of scary shadows, but is well known, understood and where every part of you has a voice. Life is more like a marathon than a sprint, so getting out of your comfort zone in one movement doesn't work. Our goal is not to jump out of comfort zone and never to get there back. Our goal is to get out of this comfort zone so that it can grow and become bigger and bigger and bigger and include more and more and more of wonderful opportunities that life has to offer. In order to learn something, we need to be calm, we need to be peaceful, we need to be positive. If you shout, humiliate, beat someone, they're not gonna learn what you're telling them. The process of life is all about balance. And this point of balance is not like you found it once in your life and it never changes. No, every step you need to rebalance yourself. Every step you need to find new center. It's a bit like learning to walk or surfing on waves. You have to adjust to this flow that surrounds you and to your own weight and body and position. Think also about children. The more secure they feel in their family, the more willing they are to explore the outside world, the more curious they are, the more energetic they are. Even when they go explore it, from time to time they need to return to their mother and see that they are secure, that she has not abandoned them. We should be that parent for ourselves. We should create this comfortable, secure zone where we can return, heal our wounds, <laughs> heal our sore muscles and then get out again and again and again. So our goal is not to escape comfort zone. Our goal is to create it and make it bigger and bigger and bigger. And this is how development goes. If you feel depressed or upset or low on energy, don't blame yourself. It is quite possible that you live in this discomfort zone Maybe you live with a toxic partner or maybe you lack some skills to deal with your own emotions. Instead of blaming yourself and calling yourself weak for not being able to get out of your comfort zone, try to create this comfort zone for yourself first. Learn the necessary skills to deal with your emotions. Solve your inner conflicts. And only then you will be curious and inspired to step out of your comfort zone. Bye-bye.